The United States has surpassed the United Kingdom as Barbados's biggest source market, increasing by some 24%. At the end of September, arrivals recorded were just over 170,000 compared to nearly 129,000 for the same period last year. And according to Chairman of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, Javon Griffith, this is heavily in part to increased airlift out of the USA. We would have had JetBlue doubling their flights from New York. We would have had them tripling their flights from Boston Logan. We would have then had Frontier starting flights to Barbados from San Juan, Puerto Rico, three days a week. We would have had American Airlines taking our Miami services back to three flights a day. We would have had American Airlines making Charlotte a daily service into Barbados. We then had American Airlines relaunch New York JFK on November 5th. And that is also a daily service which will be year-round. That alone adds 5,332 seats a month from New York. There has also been an increase in CARICOM arrivals, with a new service set to begin on Friday by Wynn Air, with flights out of St. Martin, Martinique, St. Lucia, and Dominica. You have Caribbean Airlines actively adding new routes into Barbados, incrementally across the region. You would have had an expansion of airlift from into Caribbean. For example, they added Kingston, Jamaica twice a week with a larger aircraft. They would have increased services to Antigua, increased services to Grenada. Another big contributing factor is Virgin Atlantic. They operate a tag service into Barbados from London Heathrow, which goes on to Grenada three days a week and on to St. Vincent three days a week. And persons are able to purchase tickets between Barbados and those islands in both directions. So they've also added capacity um, within the region. BHTA's Chief Executive Officer Ryan Ford says there is a lot property owners can do on site to enhance local attractions for visitors. He also suggests there is a market for ecotourism, particularly on the East Coast, including creating an underwater museum. And it has nothing to do with building any infrastructure, but teaching persons about the permaculture and all those different areas that you can specialize in. Because you will get travelers coming from the educational standpoint, which you will come from the university and colleges that want to learn a little bit more of what you have to offer here. You can also dive into the agriculture side as well too. Obviously through that being an avenue, you have one of our members local and co, they do a lot of work in, on that avenue partnered with Wired, which is down uh, by Walker's Reserve. Mr. Ford says this will all add to Barbados's diversity. Richard Lagarde, CBC News.